Hey, uh, so I'm back. This is part two of my Final Fantasy VII Let's Play. Um, I hope you enjoyed the first one. I noticed at the end of the first one that there was some echoing. I think I chose the wrong setting, so I hopefully it doesn't uh, go crazy this time nearing the end of the video. Uh, so we're supposed to set a bomb at a reactor, which I think is just really, really stupid. Bombs in Final Fantasy games, or in any games, are never good. Ever. Never, never, never good. So then Cloud starts hearing voices. Oh no, we have another Final Fantasy char character who's crazy. And he has voices. He's crazy, that's what's wrong. He's crazy, I just told you that. But still, he's gonna go set a bomb. Everybody's gonna get blown up. Because you know what? Bombs are never good in a video game. Ever. Then the alarm start starts happening, and we get into our very first boss fight. Ugh. Boss fight? I meant boss battle. Boss fight, that's what I meant. Uh, so this is a uh, guard scorpion. By the way, you can turn on the identification thing by pressing select. So this is Guard Scorpion. He um, isn't that strong. I mean, he can be slightly difficult if you, you know, don't really know how to deal with him. Uh, but he's not that hard. Uh, just have Barret attack. And use have Cloud use Bolt because he's a machine and um, he can. Uh, be, he's he's weak to. Um, uh, he's weak to. Bolt to lightning. He's weak to lightning. I'm sorry. It's an early morning. I've lost my mind. Um, and everything's lagging. Great. Anyways, uh, so have Barret attack you. Have Cloud and Barret both use their limit breaks whenever they come back on. Uh, limit breaks will replace um, their attacks. And um, what else? And uh, have Cloud use Bolt. That's basically it. Oh! I forgot to tell you. There is this attack where he will flip up his tail. You do not want to attack during that. Because what will happen is he will hit you and your your party members with a laser. It is not good. Actually, I should totally cure Cloud right now with the potion. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to attack him. Oh, crap! I should have waited. Okay, well this is it, um, yeah, Cloud's gonna tell Barret to be careful while the tail is up, well, that's a bit too late. Yeah, it's gonna now counterattack with its laser because I was an idiot and I forgot to wait to see if he was going to raise it. So he hits us with tail laser, probably should, would have just shown you anyways what happened. I'm gonna cure him, Barret's gonna get limit break, which I'm going to totally use once the tail Barret. And then we're gonna have to play the waiting game. You can defend if you want, because, you know, just for something to do instead of just waiting the entire time. There we go. So we want to keep using bolts and have Barret use his attack. Uh, his limit break when it's his turn to dash. And soon he'll be defeated. One time, I remember I was totally confused by this boss. He'll also do search scope, um, which is what he'll do is I think he gets locked onto that target, so he'll just attack that one character the entire time. Um, I've always thought that attack was just like, or that skill or whatever it is was really stupid because it's like you're just searching. That's it. God, I hope this lag is not on when I am. Um, Actually, doing this part because oh, it's gonna kill my video. There we go. Okay, so we beat the boss. Woohoo! Nobody's gonna level up though, except we do get Barrett's second gun, which is called the assault gun. 
I always thought that it should have been called, be called uh, the assault rifle. Now for this part, we have 10 minutes to detonation. However, 10 minutes can go by really slowly. Um, or they can go really fast if you get into battle. Seven a day. Okay. So we're gonna kill Sweeper. Um, by the way, if anything's ever in a back row, you know, it'll take less damage. But the Sweeper can actually be slightly difficult um, and take a bit long. So I'm gonna kill him first. Okay, I thought he would be more difficult than that, but I guess he wasn't. There's this one commentator that I was uh, watching, and he is addicted to using people's limit breaks. So, and I'm addicted th to them too, because some of the limit breaks are really, really cool. Some of them are kind of useless though, because like, I mean, some of the limit breaks I like, but then some are like, well, I mean, it helps, but I don't like it. Because they don't cause damage, you know? They do, like, something like a status effect or take away MP, so... You can, uh, take time saving, but I already saved, um, before the boss battle. And so I'm going to go. I don't want to hurry. Now, what some people do is they go all the way to the exit, which is, um, where Bear gave you the first lecture, where the two doors were. Some people actually level up like that for like six minutes or something until it's like 30 seconds later because once you leave the timer actually goes um also remember to help jesse because if you don't you have to come all the way back down you have to come all the way back down and then you have to um get her anyways Ooh, there's a back attack just press r1 and l1 really quickly and then let go and you'll be frontwards because if you're back attacked um, you can actually take more damage, which I didn't never knew when I was a kid. Anyways, so let's try and defeat these pollution really, really fast. Hmm, eight minutes. Oh my gosh, hurry up! Um, by the way, I will not be leveling up for six minutes, um, or seven, or whatever. You know, I will not be leveling up for, you know, minutes at a time because, um, I would have to cut out a lot. And also, you know, I would like to... And plus, I mean, I don't like leveling up at all. I'm, like, one of the few... Where'd, where'd Jesse just go? Maybe she got killed by a monster. I'm one of the very few, uh... Ooh, they're back attacked. Um, I'm one of the very few video game people that do not- I mean, other people don't like leveling up, but they still do it, but I do not like leveling up at all. I will never level up off screen or even on screen. I just don't like it at all. It is the most annoying thing in the world. I hate it. Like, an undying love of video games. Ugh, I hate working out. Er, working out. <laughs> I hate leveling up. Anyway, so Jessie disappeared. She must be either a really fast runner or she died. If she died, we can't open up the door. And by the way, um, before, if you search around and stuff, there isn't really anything around. Okay, so press the switch on button. Um, place. Grab the phoenix down if you never got it before. Jessie. The door. Talk to me. Biggs after your battle. Okay, talk to Biggs now after the battle. Or if you didn't get into battle, just talk to him. Uh, and then head on out. Now, you can actually stay here and... Uh, I'm good, just gonna take a second to say this. You can actually stay in this area and, you know, level up if you want for four minutes. Uh, but I'm not going to. Because the reason you can actually is because the minute you leave the place, the timer goes off, and then you just run away. Automatically. Ooh, Jesse fell. Oh my gosh, run! 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 Okay then. Pretty fireworks.
By the way, Wedge is the fat boy who's doing like Pilates or something in the corner. 